OK, so the best answer was, in fact, E, H, and I are all 0. What about E? E is 0. We already talked about that because theta is, 90 de theta is 180 degrees and the sine of 180 degrees is 0. So the sine here is 0 for E. H, well, R is 0 for H. And what about I? I has the force in the same direction as the R vector. The R vector, again, is a vector from the axis of rotation out here to where the force is applied. So it's a vector like that. It's a vector in the same direction as the force, so the angle between them is zero and the sine of zero is zero. So that's why that torque is zero. For every force that's applied to something, you can calculate a torque. That torque may be zero around the whatever axis of rotation you're choosing, but, but you can, for, the, for every force, there's a torque. Any questions? Yeah. Um, does it mean as you move away from the center of the mass, the, the inertia is getting bigger, or does it get smaller as you move away from the center of the mass? So, so are we talking about torque, or are we talking about rotational inertia? Because, what? Inertia. The rotational inertia. As the mass gets farther from the axis of rotation, and maybe I'll just write it down. I is equal to the sum over all of the masses of the mass times the distance from the mass to the, from the axis of rotation to the mass. R here in this formula is the distance from the axis of rotation to the mass. And so the rotational inertia depends on those distances, and it depends on the distance squared, actually. So, so it's, it, it is true what you just said. The rotational inertia is small for this one, and so I can flip it around easily. And the reason is that the masses are only about a couple of centimeters from the axis of rotation. And this one is hard to rotate because the masses are out here on the ends. And those are, I don't know, 25 centimeters from the axis of rotation. So the rotational inertia goes up as that r squared. So if it's uh, if 10 times longer, 10 time, if the masses are 10 times farther away from the axis of rotation, then the rotational inertia will be 100 times larger. This thing is 100 times, something like 100 times harder to rotate than, than that one. And it's just because of the placement of the masses. So would the angular momentum be different from, um, at different points if, if it, the angular velocity is the same? If, that's exactly right. If they have the same angular velocity, then the angular momentum of the one with the large rotational inertia will be much, hard, much larger. You can imagine the one that's easy to spin around, if that was on an axis and spinning, you would probably not have any trouble just reaching in and stopping it, applying a torque to stop it. This other one, which is hard to rotate, if it was spinning really fast, you might not want to just put your hand in and stop it. I mean, it might be really hard, it might hurt you, and it might not even stop. So this one would, is the one with the largest angular momentum if they are spinning at the same angular speed. The angular momentum definitely depends on the rotational inertia. The wheel to the right can rotate freely about its axle. That's like this one. So it's just like that wheel right there. A force F is applied as shown, along with whatever other forces are acting on it. So I'm only going to ask you about this particular force. F produces a torque around the center of mass well, this thing is, is a uniform wheel. There's just as much mass above as below, to the right as to the left. So the center of mass of this wheel is right on the axis, right in the middle. It's right on the, axle of, the axis of rotation. 
In other words, the center of mass is this dot right here, the axle. So, what's the direction of the torque around the center of mass? So, I'm going to take the center of mass to be an axis of rotation and ask you about the torque around the center of mass. What's the direction? By the way, the direction of the torque is the direction that you are trying to change the angular momentum. That's what this equation tells you. Are you trying to, it has no angular momentum right now. If I apply a force at the bottom to the right, am I trying to give it angular momentum uh, toward you or away from you? 